Hey, this is Danny Marie 911 live on the Xbox One with We Happy Few, part 14. Hopefully it will continue as yesterday where there will be no problems with streaming. Which means the whole problem was my router needed an update. That was a pain in and of itself to get fixed because I had completely forgotten the password to access it. So once the game gets loaded, it'll be time to try and cross the bridge with the ID and stuff that I stole from the creepy catsuit club. And we're almost there! Yay! Why am I hearing psh sounds? I don't like psh sounds. There we go. Still alive. Where am I? Okay. Thirsty, but let's see. Do I have any drinkable stuff? That one won't get me drunk and won't give me joy because I really don't want to be joy. Looks like no. Okay. Just have to go with a little bit of lower stamina for a bit. Oh. Let's see. Still got the pipe, but I don't have the electric thing. We got that bridge, and now we're going to try and cross that bridge. Oh, yes. There's a dig spot over here somewhere. To the right. Dig spot. Around here somewhere. Creepy dancy people. There it is. There better be something good in here. Hmm, more canteens. Bludgeoner. So yay, melee weapons consume less. It's almost morning. Oh. Grapefruit juice. I wonder if that'll... Satiate my thirst. Yay! Let's go ahead and eat a berry. Okay. So what other quest do we have? Nothing I can currently do. Just gotta be careful, because I would rather not run into more bobbies. It's not quite morning yet. Let's see on the map. This is a good direction. I don't know what all the shocking sounds are. Wakey wakey, I couldn't feel better. Could you see your chemist today? It's funny how these kind of creepily follow you around. Play with Jack. It's all fun and games at... at... 4 every weekday. Wait, will the next one be visit your chemist today? He'll chase off those blahs.
The future is in our hands. Okay, I'm tired of watching that. I don't like all the shocking sounds I'm hearing. Okay. Nope, nope, nope. Yay! Everybody's up now. Now I won't get all suspicious from being up in the morning. So 7 a.m. Got it. We'll see how well I remember that. Yes, there's a puddle. Congratulations, you found it. They're always so happy when they splash in the puddles. Maybe he'll talk to me now. Excuse me. I've been ordered to check up on Dr. Faraday. Where's Bobby Hickenbotham? The executive committee don't let just anyone drop by the lab, you know. Why not? Because they might be friends of Dr. F. You know what Dr. F could do with a bucket of motorline and a handful of mechanical bits? No, I don't either. And that's the point, isn't it? He's, uh, <laughs> at the Reform Club. Again. What are you implying? Uh, apparently he feels a bit guilty about Dr. F. You don't know about his, uh, oh, sure. Bobby Hickenbotham is marrying my sister. Oh. I will thank you not to cast any perverted aspersions at his reputation. I have been ordered by the general himself to ask for credentials from the beautification committee. Have you committee. got any? There you go. Bye. Watch out for anyone chattering away in something that don't sound like English. They're like mad dogs, and they'll give you play. And I don't want the plague. Shut about pensions, right? Oh, you better take these in case you do catch plague over there. Not that I would wait. I don't want plague. Area under renovation. Sorry, I like exploring. Can I push the button? Yes, yes, I can. Oh, I guess that's the way I'm supposed to go. Okay then. Anchor. Ah, uh, okay. Lodge Hole. That's where they quarantined all the wastrels with plague, isn't it? That's a cheery Oh, thing. interesting. Joy. Joy processor. Ooh, rubbish bins with stuff. Let's see, I got some new stuff. Let's see. I've got so many people's credentials, it's kind of funny. Okay, as I've done, woo, I was further down than I realized. Let's first explore the edges of the map. Yeah, and I think the first thing I want to do after otherwise is find the hatch. Yep, first let's check out the limits of the island. And gather berries. Yay, berries! It's been a while since I've had to explore the edge of an island. It's been stuck in that awful place for quite a while now. Let's see how big this one is. At least while exploring the edge, I don't have to deal with people attacking me, or looking down on me, or any such other thing such as that. I get to see the pretty flowers and the pretty trees. And take the petals and the berries that I never seem to really use anyways, but hey, you never know when I might need them. So I'd rather have them than need them and not have them. Yay, plus the red ones, you know, they make me heal. Healing is good. Speaking of which, let's get the healing bomb up just in case I should make a few more healers. Okay. That's a six. I want at least ten. So seven, eight, nine, ten. That's good. What else do I have? Ah, recipe for sneaky shoes. Visibility and noise goes down. 
Let's see, anything else I can use right now? Ooh, I can make a water filter. <sighs> Didn't see that before. Good to know. Hmm. So now I can actually make some pure water out of the nasty joy water. So now I have some decent water. Good to know. I should have paid attention earlier. Ooh, what's this? What's this? What's this? Halloween coming, it'll be soon be time. Where are your gas masks? Oh joy! Toxic leak. Some non night bloomy non such nonsense is more like. It's because it only blooms at night. It doesn't mean you can't pick it during the day. So this is kind of like the garden district and all the flowers and berries and things it has. Hmm. Ludsholm. So, yeah, I'll probably play for about an hour now, and then around, probably go get lunch at noonish, make some yummy sandwiches to eat for lunch. So we've got meat, and then we've got cheese and bread ordered for pickup. And my boyfriend is just looking at me and laughing at me and shaking my head because I'm rambling, I guess. But then I'll probably come back on around one and do another hour one, because we've got to catch up for all that time I was down. Plus, I mean, with October quickly approaching, got to get this done before the Fallout 76 beta starts. Because, yeah, I've got to play that once it comes out. I've got to. It's a necessity to life. I'm excited for it. There's lots of people complaining. Complaining about the griefing thoughts and how multiplayer is going to work and blah 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 blah. I've read up a lot on it. I've seen all the videos. You know what? We'll find out for sure when it's out. Myself, I'm not big on PvP. I've never have. For those that enjoy PvP, good for you. Enjoy it. Leave me alone. I prefer to play friendly with the environment. That's just how I am. My boyfriend, on the other hand, likes PvP. So, good for him. He can go play that and leave me alone. Ooh, a stick. And, I mean, occasionally we'll play games together. Usually it's the ones that are PvE more often than not. And he helps me things such as Seven Days to Die. Although you can be PvE on that, but... So occasionally we'll get somebody in our server that decides to come kill me. And then all the guys will run after them and kill them for me. As I tend to be prefer to be a friendly player. Why is this all lit up? Oh, lilies! I found lilies! Didn't give me anything. Bastards. But yeah. Everybody has their own playstyle. Why do you gotta fight about it? Yes, it's a game that's supposed to be able to allow both playstyles. I really don't see that working out that well. But we will find out. So I've listened to some of the reviews yesterday when I was bored out of my mind about how they say if basically the gist of what I was getting was if you shoot somebody and they shoot back you get to fight what you get to fight winner gets caps whoever if you're a higher level and you kill the lower level person you don't get as many caps but if the lower level kills the higher level you get a lot more caps and also anytime you die all the junk you have drops only junk junk is basically you know stuff you gather over time it's worth a bit not a whole lot but it's worth a little bit so they get junk however if somebody shoots you ooh, what's this sign 
Total 151. Whatever wickets is, 2. Overs 51, last ins 125. I'm guessing that's something to do with... What is that called? Cricket? I know nothing about cricket. But... Yeah, so if you choose not to fight back, so be it. They get nothing. They get no caps. They get no junk. They essentially get nothing. And at that point, you can actually put that person to ignore so that you and them will no longer see each other on the map. However, if they kill somebody that chose not to fight back like that, in addition to getting nothing, they become bountied. So, they get a bounty on their head, which everybody then can see on the map as a little red star. Am I annoying them? And when somebody kills them, the caps that normally drop from a fight actually come out of their own funds of caps. Which, of course, people are already trying to find workarounds. Well, I'll just give all my stuff to my buddy to hold on to me and then kill somebody. And then, ha, 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 you get nothing. Well, I'm sure they'll figure out a way to make that work. To prevent stuff like that. But also, when you're wanted, you cannot see anybody else on the map. And, of course, people are already complaining, Oh, that's not fair. Well, oh well. They're trying something new. Let's wait and see how it's going to work out. Personally, I'm a fan of the old Fallout games. I've been playing since the original Fallout Sometimes game. I wonder, would I even recognize him? I'd be 31 now. Would he recognize me? Would he want to? Okay. But yeah, I'm a big fan of the Fallout games. I loved the first two that were all the click and point turn based. I liked three and New Vegas and four. I keep wanting to go back and play four, I just haven't yet. One day. And then I will have to stream my playthroughs, I guess. But yeah, fan, so. This is a big change from what Fallout normally is. I think a multiplayer Fallout would be awesome. But I'm more into cooperative multiplayer than the you can kill everybody multiplayer. But to each their own. I mean, if I wanted to go out and just kill people to kill people, I'd go play one of those other games that I don't play. Battlegrounds, whatever. PUBG. Whatever, I always say it wrong. I'd go into a PvP server of seven days, I'd go... I would find somewhere to go to kill people, if that's what I wanted. Just like usually when I play seven days, I assign it to friendly. Because I would rather work cooperatively with others. Than fighting each other and killing each other and... Sorry, to me I work hard to gather all that stuff, to build all that stuff. I don't want somebody just coming through and destroying it all. Ooh, what's this? So yeah, if you don't like my playstyle, we don't have to play together. Not a big deal to me. Okay, there is nothing here. Nope, nothing. Okay. Now back to the edge. Slowly working our way around and around and around in circle. Ooh. Another ooh, berry. Ooh, berry. Found more berries. So yeah. They still haven't given a definitive when it's coming out date. I've heard Xbox is first. I have pre ordered it. I bet he could have been a great scientist. You don't have to chit chat to be a scientist. Yeah, I pre ordered it on the PlayStation 4. The Power Armor Suit Edition. What's with all the broken? That one's not broken. I don't think. Maybe it is on the other side. Yeah. Yeah, it is. Lots of broken pipes. Okay. But yeah, I'm looking forward to the Armor Edition. I'm looking forward to having that helmet. I think it'd be so fun. What I think would be really fun was taking it to work and using it on the radio. Although I think that would be very frowned upon and I probably should not do that. But it would be so fun to do. 
So I've got the Pip-Boy edition from Fallout 4. I've got the little mini nuke thingy with all the original games on it that is unopened because I already have all the games. Why waste the codes? If I ever need to one day I could sell it. But it looks so pretty on my shelf. I have the Fallout Monopoly. I only have one bobblehead and that's the one that came with the special Fallout 111 loot crate. I want to get the Operation game because that seems like it'd be awesome. Plus I don't have a copy of Operation. I need a copy of Operation. Why not be the Fallout Operation? It's actually in stock at one of my local game stores so one day I will grab it probably maybe. But yeah. I like Fallout. And I'm looking forward to the new one. I think I'm looking forward to Fallout 5 better. Because hopefully it'll be go back to the old traditional singular player blah blah blah. I know they've said they're working on it, just don't have much. The other games I'm looking forward to are Let's Go Eevee. They have an actual really cute edition of the Switch for Let's Go Eevee and Let's Go Pikachu that have them on the front of it. And Red Dead looks interesting, but I'm really not completely sure about it. I watched some info on it last night and it seems like it could be interesting, but at the same time I'm not completely sure that it be a game that I would really enjoy. So I might wait until it comes out and see, watch some gameplay and reviews before I decide. You can always buy a copy that's used later on if it's not real great just to try it. Or rent it from Redbox. It's always an option too. I don't think there's much else that I'm really interested in right now on getting I mean, plus I've got the couple thousand games on my Steam account I need to play through yet. Eventually. I've played a few of them, but I want to, like, start from scratch on all of them since I got a new computer. It's much nicer than my old one. And then try every game, categorize it, and... Of course, stream. I want to play each game for at least one hour on my stream. See how I like it. Once I like, I'll continue on further. And of course, as always, every stream I do on here, I post later on my YouTube account. There should be a link on my main page. I also sometimes talk about it a little bit on my blog on WordPress. Although my WordPress, it's few and far in between when I actually update it. I'm trying to do it more often. I did it this week. It had been two weeks since the prior one. But I'm trying to do better. But it's kind of rambling stuff sometimes. I have tags that I use to try to remind myself of things to talk about on it. Because I can't say too much about Dispatch anymore because they get really pissy if you do. Although, that used to be what that was for. What used to be for my rant about coworkers I disliked and things. But that's really frowned upon now. And they tend to crack down on it more, which is... Yeah. I mean, you gotta vent somehow. And it's always a game of favorites. I mean, if you're their favorite and you do it, oh, it's fine, it's okay. But if they're not real fond of you and you do it, yeah, you're gonna get in big trouble. And since I'm not always a favorite, I'd be best just not to do too much. Sheesh, how big is this island? Oh my goodness, it's ginormous! Ooh, Barry. Ooh, Barry. This whole hour might just be wandering around this whole frickin' island. Ooh, branch? Nope, it's a tree root sticking out of the ground. Hmm. This place is huge. Let's see what's up with this pipe right here. Some nasty, filthy looking water that I just jumped into. Oops. And a weird, cleared stretch of grass. Nasty water. 
Hmm. So I think after I get around this island, the next step will simply be to find the hatch. And part of me has a feeling that might take the whole hour to do all that. At the rate in which this island is stretching into nowhere. I'm at least headed back towards the entrance, it looks like. So we are past the halfway point, and there's lots of flowers to hide in out here, which is good. I did not like being in the city, because in the city, when I pissed people off, I kept running into corners and kept getting trapped with nowhere to hide. And if you try to hide and they're watching you, ha ha ha, you're seen, you can't hide there. Yeah, yeah. Whatever. I mean, it's nice having big islands, but at the same time, it's so big. And trying to explore all of it can be tricky to make sure you get all the little randomized encounters. As from what I understand, it is kind of random. Each map can be di slightly different from each other playthrough. At least that's how it was on the beta. When I played the beta, every time I played it, the map was different. I mean, I know, I could have just saved and played the same map, which I did on occasion, but when they had a nice update, you had to start anew if you wanted to try the new update. So, I mean, had to. Well, I guess not technically have, but why wouldn't I want to? You know? Because, I mean, you gotta try out the new features. Sometimes they're good, sometimes they're crap, but you know know until you try it. And let's check out this well. Is it like the other well where I can't do anything? Well, at least this one has a bottom. Is there anything in the bucket? Nope. Just a useless well to distract me from my mission of surrounding the entire island and figuring out everything that I'm going. Or everywhere that I'm going, I guess would be more appropriate. And since my heart is up, I apparently hurt myself jumping somewhere earlier. I'm good at that. Both in game and real life. I tend to be very clumsy and klutzy and hurt myself a decent amount. So, but it's not enough to bother healing yet. Let's just not go off a cliffside. I don't want the flower petals that badly. So they do grow back. There's no point in killing myself over a petal. So where am I going now? Apparently... Okay, so it's kind of a large island composed of three smaller islands that are just kind of there. It's interesting, this whole concept of islands, but it makes it easy to separate the different places. Yes, I got distracted once again by petals. Wonderful, wonderful red petals that heal me up, and why is there fog there? Okay, just because there is. Okay. Up we go. He gets so out of breath so easily. It's a little bitty climb. I'm out of breath now. Because this person that is controlling my life made me do it. wonder if he ever feels existential that his life is not his own. Because, I mean, in reality, who would wander the edge of an island like this? Out of curiosity, no, you would just go to where you need to go, especially if you're trying to hide and pretend that you're normal. You would just do it, because wandering the edge of an island is not normal. Are we almost there? Yes, we are. Yay, we're almost done. So I'm guessing in order to get back out of Lude's home, I'm going to have to find the hatch and figure out how the, to make it work so that I can access the little quick train. I do like that feature. The old one did not have that feature. Of course, the old one, you could finish everything without having to continue because it gave you... Of course, Percy never cared much that he didn't fit in. I'm not sure he even knew what fitting in was. Everything that you needed. 
like with the beehive one when it came up oh somehow I had the actually I think it's just it just kind of gave you all the recipes from the get-go we're here you kind of have to find some because I would like to go harvest honey but not to the point I want to get stung to death so we don't want to do that stung to death is not fun not in reality not in a game Ooh, flowers Um, well, shite. Uh, apparently me being in my nice suit pisses them off. Not so much that I can't get... Okay. I did not mean to piss you off by looking nice. They made me dress this way. I don't have my not nice suit. And I don't really want to destroy the suit. Or do I? Yeah. Okay, so we just need the torn suit. There we go. Now hopefully they won't chase me. Because I don't look all prim and proper now. Please don't chase me. I'm just exploring. I was just gathering berries. You don't need to be angry at me. It's not my fault. Sleeping all right. I saw a ghost in White Tree Park. But she really? was to me. Been a while, hasn't it? This too shall pass. Perhaps. Am I allowed to search? Apparently I am. He said it was just a cough. Well, he's sprouting, isn't he? He said he hadn't got a scratch. I'd call those scratches, wouldn't you? Are you sure it's safe to get that close? You won't catch it from looking. There could be spores. Try not to get bitten. They go a bit crazy towards the end. Thanks. I'll be careful. Run, if you don't want to end up like him. He's got the madness, hasn't he? And he talks funny too. Is he chasing me? So I might have to beat him down. Let's find some flowers, find some flowers, find some flowers to hide in. Is he still chasing me? No, he's not. Okay. Woo. I'd rather not. get the plague they sure talk funny is he dying? did he die? he apparently died it didn't take long at least I didn't have to kill him I just had to run so watch out for people with red around their heads okay let's see what's going on here check out this first little town then I can explore the outskirts later my junk pile no no they won't Get all the rubbish piles, some trash cans, some telephone booths, and it's ringing again. This is for the benefit of Mr. Kite. The rabbit has come to tea. The rabbit has come to tea. Okay. Good for the rabbit, I guess. I mean, if it was thirsty. Yes, yes, they have. Ok, 
Okay, and here's one I can hide in later if I need to. There's a house here. Looks to be a lived in house, so let's for now be good. I have been good so far. I haven't been trespassing much. More than necessary anyways. What's that say? You knew and did nothing. You did bread. nothing. I'll remember bread. I have bread. I'm not giving you bread. The bread is mine. I do not share. Quest found. Hallucinogenic salad. Oh. Let's see what's up here. Nothing. Nothing at all. Very well. Continuing on. Okay. Um Okay then. Oh goodness. She just died. Oh. She's thought I saw a person. I did see a person. She looks to be dead. And I can't search her. And there's furniture being thrown out. At least you can drink from the pumps here. True. Okay. Um. Threw out a couch, threw out a table, and threw out a body. Loverly. Nope. Let's not do that one yet. Let's finish exploring. We'll deal with that later. Sounds like a good plan. Deal with the crazy, creepy people later, because if it's like it was in the demo, they're all going to attack me. So let's finish exploring first. Found Dr. Faraday's house. Okay. Um, he's not very friendly. I'll come back and deal with him later. Let's finish exploring this first little link of an island. Because that's what I like to do every time, is first explore Where? the area. Gathering all the rubbish bins and piles of junk and... Quite hungry. Where are the Americans? Uh, I'm guessing in America and in Russia. What is that? Faraday's workshop. Got some toxic waste. Let's see what's in the middle. Berries. Okay. Let's see. 
Joy, Simon says instructions. Like, I don't know how to play because I just won. Um, make puppets. Puppets sound good. Okay. I am trespassing, okay. Interesting. Oh, I forgot about my little crustable thingy. Completely forgot about it. Yay, I have an uncrustable. Mind the side effects. What side effects? Ooh. Cutscene. I was, I was riding the subway. All day, back and forth, and 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 back and forth until it closed. Was I supposed to pay again? No, you're not supposed to run off like that without telling anyone. But I was having so much fun. You wouldn't have let me ride. No, no I wouldn't. No I wouldn't. Do you remember 1939? It was five years old. We went places on the subway. With mum, before she got sick. Yeah, well, I remember. Never forget anything. Never forget anything. So apparently being in here is trespassing. But this is my home. I don't care. This is my home. Um... Let's go ahead and have this handy, because I have a feeling I'm going to need it. Looks like he was trying to get out. Or something ripped him apart. What a jolly place to go exploring. Oh, look at all the blood. Go down without a torch. If someone's gonna kill me, I want to know who it is. Good thing I've got my trusty torch. I like to know who's trying to kill me. I would rather they come up to me. Let him come to me. I have a frying pan. That didn't last long. Okay. Let's see, I should have some other weapons. Let's equip. It's not going to last long with that. Okay, creepy language. Okay. prefer to fight where I don't have to waste my torch. And he's dead. 
What have we come to? Okay. Ah, shoot. Okay, I've got a fresh one. And back upstairs. You can follow me. There he comes. And let's heal, because I'm hurting. See, what is there? One at a time. They keep coming. Okay. Just lie down. Okay, so next. Hopefully this is the last one. Hasn't been too bad so far. I haven't gotten sick yet, so that's a plus. This weapon's kind of nice. I've always liked you, actually. I am now hungry and thirsty. Water. Lights on. Uh, fix the holes. Okay. This hole up before I have any uninvited visitors. I guess someone got out that way, which means someone could get in. Need a loose screw. Activate the hatch access. Woo! No, I won't need to cross bridges to get here. That's a lot better. A lot brighter. How to finish taking everybody's stuff. I feel sort of bad for them. This was their home. Yeah. Well, it's not anymore. I can fill it up, but I don't care to right now. Let's deposit a bunch of stuff. 
I'll just put them all in there for now. Let's see, rowan berries are the ones. Yeah, screw it. I'll just put them all in for now. Let's see, that'll clear cure the plague for me. Shouldn't need most of this for now. Okay, now let's grab a couple other weapons for later, just in case. I don't feel bad enough to turn off the lights, though. Nope. Okay. Everybody's check all the dead bodies, gather everything I can. Oh. Creepy sounds. Anything I need to make. right now. Any of this I need. Detorch and power cell. Good for the moment. Yeah. Unlock. Yeah. And search. So I wasted that for nothing. Not much else here. I should get some food. Preferably not rancid food. I'll take one of these. That should be good. There we go. Pick up the jab. It looks like we're good. It looks like everything that I can tell. Okay, there's the door. Yay! We have a safe house now! Although apparently I'm still trespassing. What? Yes, that's a car. Oh, I need an extractor. Okay, stop screaming. Wrong way. Okay. Power generator bench. Okay, so that was just stuff for. Let's finish exploring this area. And gathering everything. Haven't used any yet, but. You never know when I may need soul rinse. So we'll finish exploring this first in the three chain island. Okay. Okay, stop screaming, lady. I don't understand. I need that water, so I'm going to have to take them out. So that must be who she was referring to when she says, Won't stop screaming. I can agree. It is annoying. Anything up here? Of course not. You dressed like a bobby, but you're not actually a bobby. It's all falling apart. 
Okay. Alrighty then. Hmm. I have to see what that rock is in a moment. We'll finish this real quick. There's the path to the second chain. Hmm. Let's see what is with this giant rock. There is a cellar door. Go ahead and okay. This root cellar is marked, so they are hoarding the water. I'm gonna have to kill those people. I'm gonna have to kill those people. <sighs> hey, having to kill everybody, but Looks alas. Starting to roll in about now. So I think this is a good stopping place, or point, or whatever, because we've explored everything. So we're gonna save the game, and this is gonna be it for part. 14 of We Happy Few on the Xbox One with Danny Marie number one. And I'm going to try to be back in a couple hours to play some more. So, see you then.